Morning! I hope you're doing really, really well. I am. I am staying in the most gorgeous hotel in Morocco. I am so, so, so lucky. The riding here with Thompson Bike Tours and WTB has been absolutely amazing, like phenomenal. Just so remote and wild and I just love the yeah i just absolutely love the country it's been fantastic so anyway today is going to be even better than yesterday if that's possible we are going to go a ride go we're going to go on a ride out into the desert ride around sand dunes and stuff and then we're going to have some sort of special lunch that's a surprise so don't know what that's going to be but we've been promised something cool then we're going to ride on dromedaries which are one humped camels i didn't know that did you know that and we're going to ride up onto the dunes on these camels to watch the sunset and then we're going to sleep out in a kind of camp that they set up for us which looks amazing and i just i just i can't wait so come along and see what we get up to today <coughs> and the nice smooth road. Well, uh, for the <laughs> Bumpy gravel, how much more we get here? Anyway, we've been told to expect large shifting sand dunes today. We might even have to walk around because it could be impossible to ride through, although of course I'll give it a go. So quite excited for this because very different to the other days that we've been here. In fact, every day has been quite different. through this amazing amazing landscape looking out for the rocky bits that are slightly easier to ride on and then all of a sudden you hit a really sandy patch you've got to try and power through it um, our guide Mark's given us some tips he says you need to kind of keep your weight back like when you're skiing in powder and then you keep your hands firmly gripping the bars but you let the bars be loose so they can move around and you're not trying to like fight the bike then with enough beans you can kind of whiz through a sort of surf on top of it. Anyway, the group are about to leave, but it's just so amazing up here. There's all these, I don't know if they're like hardened sand dunes, because they look like small hills, but they're all kind of uniform, which is just not normal in nature, is it? So it makes me think that maybe they were blown by the wind into this dune formation, and then they're kind of petrified. So, only 22k to picnic time. What a rather lovely chilled out day. Chilled out, she says, bouncing around. Ah, if I can just ah, oh, stay on the bike, this is going to be a great day. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I didn't see what happened, uh, but Krista, one of the other riders, was with with uh, Marcel, who crashed, and I think he hit something, and he got flat, and then the next thing she knew, his bike was just flying over her head. Didn't hit her, but yeah, quite lucky there wasn't more of a pile-up, um, and hopefully he's okay, but I'm sort of staying out of his face, because it's a bit annoying when people are all crowded around you when you've crashed, isn't it? 
But yeah, oof. So we're all feeling a little bit shaken up. Riding in the sand is so difficult. I'm so gonna fall off now. It's really hard. You just be riding along and then all of a sudden, there's like a sand pit. You have to try and keep your momentum, but once you're off, oh, you can never get going again, that's it. that bit a lovely lunch we had a nice siesta laying over there so yeah today is pretty awesome bike riding and naps and beer uh, now we're gonna ride a bit further into the desert where we have a rendezvous with the dromedaries so God only knows what that is gonna be like but I'm pretty excited it's crazy hot at the moment I'm not sure of the temperature it's four in the afternoon and so gonna drink a ton of water, um, plenty of electrolytes and stay and try and stay hydrated. Guess we should go. Get it. Get up that dune. <laughs> this is so magical. I can't I can't really do it justice with words. It's like being on another planet or something. Yeah, out of this world really. Even cooler. We get to sleep out here tonight. So easy to get lost because the sand dunes drift and move all the time and people wait, <laughs> take different routes in their trucks depending on what's looking the most passable that day. my dromedary. That one's mine. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> <Ooh. laughs> oh my god, this is cool. was a really amazing experience really really cool watching the sunset next stop is the desert camp so this is our room bathroom shower <laughs> it's amazing exactly I'm just so overexcited that I'm probably very annoying. So I will try and calm myself down. But basically we arrived, they were singing to us as we were welcomed in. They gave us some mint tea, some cookies, did more of a, a song for us. There's a fire lit out there, the stars are up above. And then we've come into this amazing little tent room. I mean, all the walls are canvas. And they've hung real lights and set up a shower for us. There's beautiful little lamps, there's electricity, which I wasn't expecting. And then they've laid these beautiful, um, like Moroccan, what, what would it be? This kind of Moroccan nighty on our beds so we can wear them. It's just so cool to be here. I feel incredibly lucky. 
And uh, now I just want to go on every single Thompson tour there ever is. So yeah, please invite me again, guys. Anyway, uh, we will chat later.